All right, there's Brad Buckner at the show. Now, Brad, there's people saying, what is the world's smallest knife sharpener? Is it possible that sharpensbest.com may have it? I think they do. <clears throat> now. And what can it do? Well, it can mimic a quarter. <laughs> I actually, for the first time, reached in my pocket and I actually pulled out the quarter instead of the sharpener. Now, you talk about the world's smallest sharpener. Here's what actually happened. A guy had one of these on a keychain. The keys, the coins, everything in his pocket wore the plastic down after many years of service and the carbide actually came out. So he comes to me and he has the carbide and he pokes it back in the hole and he says, what can we do about this? And I smiled and I said, nothing. And he looked at me and I said, no, you can have another sharp knot, but I want this one. So the one that I have that's got the plastic worn off of it, I actually took the carbide and I put it in my pocket. And so for a long time, I actually just had the little piece of carbide and that would become probably the world's smallest knife sharpener. So anyway, uh, this is probably, it's the smallest sharpener I've ever seen. And you really can sharpen a knife? Here. Yes, I can. So let's take this little pocket knife here. <laughs> Okay, and yes, it is a real pocket knife. All right. So it would be just like this, right on around, right off the point. There's a 90 degree corner there, a 90 degree corner there. Put the 90 degree corner on the cutting edge at approximately a 10 degree bevel up like that. Let it turn a little bit like this and begin to slide it along the blade. You can go out this way, you can come back this way, you can go out that way, back this way. I don't tip it over and come back, I just go out this way. Turn the knife, go right on around, right off the point, just like that. And then I'll just go all the way around like this. Do the same thing on this side. This blade is really thick, but let's see what we get for sharp on that knife. Okay, it's really not too bad. But like I say, it is really thick. And I don't sharpen it much because there's really no, no real point. But it will take the fingernail off. That's sharp enough. That's quite a pocket knife. I would not carry that knife, but it is pretty cool. So we got the uh, smallest knife sharpener with a biggest pocket knife. Yeah, it's kind of a big pocket knife. Holy cow, you and your so, big knife. Just okay. like this. That's about a hundred year old knife too. I paid three dollars for it at a yard sale, right on around. If I'm gonna sharpen that knife, normally I would sit down, use my leg for a bench, and just drag the knife towards me. Just like this, go right on around. Turn it over and do the same thing, but on this side I tip it up as I get out towards the radius and the point. Just like that. This knife just happens to be pretty darn sharp. If I can take this knife and make it cut like that, See how far out on that paper I'm making it catch? That's really actually a very sharp knife. It's thin, so that's kind of like cheating, you know? Um, so let's see. And it lives right, right here, huh? Yeah, it, well, you know, it can, but actually I put that one here because I forget it's up there, then it goes through the wash, and then I gotta go find it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if I, I wash at laundry mats, so that's not a good idea. So you got your little old pocket knife here. Just pop that out there like that. Let's get rid of that one. I even sharpen these. And I'm going to show you how to sharpen those. They're only about three and a half dollars. But why buy new ones if all you have to do, it's easier with, okay, where is my demos of my red and black. There's one of them. There's the other one. Just in case you guys have forgotten, black sharpeners matter. Okay? So, anyway, it would be just like this. Right down through there like this. Set it down towards the center. Come to the side. From the center out. Turn it over. Don't squeeze it too hard because it is blade to blade. Just like that. Unless you can get someone to stand there and put their fingernail out so you can clamp down on their fingernail while you're doing this. Just like that. And let's see if I can show you something kind of funny. 
Watch the paper. Yep. Oops, missed it. There went one. <laughs> so yeah, they are very sharp. So you got, uh, one of my actual most favorites is this one because no matter what, it goes with me. Uh, it's so pocketable, lightweight, easy to carry. It's like having a quarter with you. It's got the two corners. I can sharpen any style of knife. I can sharpen a bread knife. That one, I will tip it over, come back at me, go out, come back, go out, come back, go out, come back. Just like that. And if I can make a bread knife this sharp, I'm a happy camper. Okay. Uh, sharpening a knife like this is real easy. Set it down left, slide it right, set it down left, slide it right, set it down left, slide it right, set it down left, slide it right. Go right down through all the little bumps, the bigger rounded holes, the little bumps. Right on around the radius, around the radius. Polish the wire edge off the blade and you end up with a knife that actually cuts. It's just fun, all kinds of sharpeners. Uh, they're good sharpeners, they don't break or not come apart except for maybe years and years and years and you actually wear the plastic off. Uh, but the, the carbide never wears out. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, Loveland, Colorado, at a PE gun show. Talk to you later.